Hey everyone, it's your girl Miss Amory and I am back with another tech video. Today's video, I just want to share with you all the newest Filmora update, Filmora 6.8. So let's get to it. I just want to share with you guys the latest features and I'm really excited about this because you can do so much more now. Um, Filmora is getting better and better and I'm so excited. So let's talk about the first thing, which is how I'm actually recording this video right now. And... The first new feature Filmora has added is record your screen. So that's how I'm actually recording this video right now. I am using the record your screen from Filmora. So now, you know, if you have a PC, you don't need to get an external program, a different program to record your screen. So right here where there is record. You just click that. You have record from webcam, which we already had, and now you have record PC screen. Once you click on this, you will be able to control exactly what you want to record, whether it be your whole screen or just a fixed area. And the hotkey to start and stop that is F9 on the keyboard. The next feature we have is video stabilization, which is amazing for amateur um, videographers or amateur, you know, YouTubers like myself. So if you have a piece of footage that's too shaky, you can stabilize that now. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you want to do is you want to import your clips. This is just a piece of test clip from my DIY snow globe tutorial. So we're going to take that and we're going to right click. And we're going to go down the dialog box to video stabilization and click on that all right so this is what it looks like once it's open what you can do in video stabilization is you can select just a piece of the clip that you want to stabilize or the whole clip so i'm going to just select one piece of clip do is hover your arrow over this white piece right here and you drag to where you want it to stabilize so i'm gonna pick a piece of footage. Once you selected your clip, click stabilize video and it's going to render that clip and it's going to save it into the media section as its own separate clip. And you'll see that in a second. So this is the original and this is the after. So you see how it looks so much better. And then you can adjust you can adjust it. The only thing is it zooms in. So if you want it to not be zoomed in as much, you just go back to low. So even though it's on low, it looks way better than over here. So you can just save that clip and it's going to render it and it will be its own separate clip right here. Alright everyone, I was trying to find a clip of something that can actually show you very well the reverse. So... Here's a clip of me pouring glitter into a jar. I know it's not the best footage, but I was really trying to find something. So, here's how you do reverse. You select your clip and you right click and go to edit. You can do Alt E or you can click the pencil right here. And all you do is click the box, play video clip in reverse, and let the video render. And your video clip will play in reverse like so. So I s hopefully you guys can see, see, <laughs> like that. So this is the clip playing forward. Me just putting glitter into a jar. And this is it playing backwards. All right, so... The last thing I want to share with you all is 
Phil Morris Christmas pack. If you're familiar with Fillmore, you use Fillmore, you know they released a Halloween pack. But now we finally have a Christmas pack. So we have text. We have nine text and title overlays. I don't know if they're actually overlays, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Then we have... 25 Christmas overlays, including a lot of snow, which made me so happy because I always wanted to know how to get snow in, you know, video. Especially if you don't have a high-end video editor and you always wondered how they got snow and everything. There's so many different things. There's storms. There's snowflakes. There's holiday party. A lot of this stuff is great for DIY videos. And then there's ink overlays. Next is we have 25 elements. And these are so cute. These just go on top of your video for cute little additions. They're just cute little clips. That's it, you guys. I just really wanted to show you the new features of Filmora's new update. If you're still on the fence of getting Filmora, just know that they're updating all the time. Now we have reverse. We have video stabilization. We have screen record. We have a whole bunch of different transitions, elements, overlays, filters, text, and they're constantly adding new styles. If there's something that you saw in here that you want me to break down, I could break that down. This is just a breakdown of the brand new update. Like I said, if you're on the fence, just know that Fillmore is updating all the time. So that should help you make a decision, um, knowing that you could possibly own something that's always updated so you don't ever have to worry about it being outdated and having to buy a new one and all that stuff. So I'll see you guys all later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.